What's up guys, it's TJ Does Destiny here, and today, Zer is in the Winding Cove on the EDZ. Let's go see what he has. Excuse me, drink my latte. So there's an epic beast uh, drop of the exotic grenade launcher anarchy to 10%. I have over, let's see, 21 completions in Scourge of the Past and still haven't managed to get it. I feel like, uh, honestly, that it's since they put it up to ten percent. I think the very first week we ran it, two guys got it in one run, and no one else got it. We ran it three times, no one else got it. The week after, we ran it again. One person got it out of, out of running it three times. Guardian, you know the trick. So I feel like it's just as bad. And I just go right to the boss. I mean, I've never done like a complete scourge of the past raid. I just know the boss encounter. Just because I'm trying to get anarchy. Once I get anarchy, I'll never stop putting there again. Alright, let's see what our buddy brought us. The nine show you these. Oh, that's right. I forgot to give him his strange cookies. Totally forgot about that. Alright. Starting with the exotic Ingram. So this is what you can possibly get. Uh, as you can see, all of mine are checked off because I've, I have everything. So uh, let's see. I do have all the armor, right? Yes, I do. I do need to start working on some of my catalysts. I have a lot of them, but not all of them. All right, let's get down to business. Uh, he brought Fighting Line. Um, I have this weapon with the Catalyst, but the Catalyst is not done. I don't really use Fighting Line. Uh, these types of rocket launch I'm sorry, grenade launchers. When you didn't have to reload back before they... Undying. Uh, what was it, Forsaken? I think it was Forsaken, we, we didn't have to reload. These grenade launchers work quite well, as well as Mountaintop and all that, but now in this meta, I, I don't feel like the work is good. Uh, trick Sleeves. Um, the final line, in my opinion, garbage. I don't use it. They bounce. I hate grenades that bounce. The trick, trick sleeves boost sidearms, especially when you're wounded. Garbage. MK stand size. Definite. Definite would recommend getting these. And then definitely the stag. Uh, Sacred Soul Charge abilities. It's void. Uh, depending on what you want to do with your build. Grants an overshield when you're sprinting at full health. 
a strike shield bash equipped either. I'll definitely, definitely, definitely get these if you don't have them. Personally, I don't use them. I probably should, but for the build that I'm using right now, I don't. I don't use these. Uh, the stag, I've honestly I've never really used the stag. Grants rip energy when critically wounded, creates healing rifts on death. I Man, I guess that's pretty cool. If your allies are dying, I don't see how it's good for you. I see a lot of people use this in, in Crucible. I really don't understand. I mean, grants rift energy when you're critically wounded. On your death creates a healing rift on your corpse, which is good for your other team or other players. And I guess it's good for you if you're critically wounded. But I mean, actually, it is pretty good if you consider the, uh, what is that? When the warlocks, you hit L1 and hold it in to get your health back, this would come in pretty handy. Uh, I forgot what the hell name of it is called, but uh, I'd pick this up too if you want to. And uh, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And he hopes to be here again. Uh, that face is ugly. I am and uh, I just that's it for Zer. On Friday, December 27th. It is my fate to help you. Hope you all have a wonderful this night. Day, night, morning, day, night, wherever you're at, take it easy.